Hi everybody, welcome to today's vlog. Today is Sunday. Here's Nate. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> we have just been hanging out today. I went to the grocery store. I had to get groceries for the week and then also for a little get together I'm having uh, this coming weekend. So I had to get some stuff for that. Um... It's been a pretty chill kind of day, and I thought I would just start vlogging right now because uh, I had a lot of grocery shopping to get done, and it was, wasn't was going to be easy to vlog that. Um, so, I thought that I would show you guys maybe our most favorite way to eat the vegan Beyond Burgers because it's really delicious the way that we made it, um, and that's what we're having tonight for dinner. We also got... The, v the Beyond Sausage to try. Uh, I think we'll eat that like at Thanksgiving dinner. Um, we haven't tried them yet, any of, of the three flavors, but we love the Beyond Burgers, so I'm pretty pumped to try these sausages. And the only thing is they're really expensive. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> the only thing is they're really expensive, though. Um, so... <laughs> Little belly. The only thing though is that they're really expensive. Uh, they're like eight ninety nine for four, I think. Um, but when you really think about it, I guess maybe really really high quality real meat sausages are probably about the same price. I don't know. I've never bought them, um, but I don't know. I've heard really good things about them, so I'm excited to try those, and I'll let you guys know on Christmas if we like them or not. Um. I also got some fun new vegan cheeses to try out, a lot of fun stuff, so I'm excited about that. So me and Nady Poo here are just going to hang out, waiting for Daddy to get back home. He went to Target because he has to pick up something for my stocking because he, I basically made my stocking myself, so he's going to like fluff it with a couple <laughs> surprises. Um, and then... I'm also, or he's also going to get uh, some socks because they're having like a holiday Christmas uh, sock exchange at work, I guess. Uh, that's kind of fun. So yeah, that's what is gonna go down. And I will take you guys along for the ride. This is what the packaging for the Beyond Burgers looks like. These are the very best vegan burgers that you can buy in store. I think that between these and the Impossible Burgers, I actually think I like the Beyond Burger better, but Alex prefers the Impossible Burger, and the Impossible Burger you can't yet buy in store anywhere, so you have to uh, only go out to eat to get it. A lot of places do have it though. And it's popping up everywhere every single day there's a new place so I'm going to show you guys now how I prepare the Beyond Burgers and what steps I take to make it delicious it's seriously like you're eating gourmet food at home it I usually will do four very important things step one you, you have to have this you have to have this with caramelized onions. Step two, I highly recommend a pretzel bun or some kind of bun that's like, maybe, I don't know, something really good and bready, I think, because it's just such, um, it is like, it has oils in it, it has coconut oil in it, and it makes it almost like it's fatty, like a real burger, so. I usually do a pretzel bun, and these are the kind I get. These are the kind I get um, from Whole Foods. Pretzel rolls, and they're vegan, and comes four in a pack, but obviously we'll only be using two, because there's only two Beyond Burgers. So, I do that, and then I make a garlic aioli, which I'll show you guys how to make too, and then put pickles on it because the pickles really help cut the fat 
and then those four things all together with the Beyond Burger is delicious. I also have the Alexia onion rings. These are vegan. Everything I think for the most part by Alexia is all it's like almost never not vegan. I think maybe some of their like prepare, prepared meals aren't vegan, but like these, the fries, it's almost always vegan. Just read the back, but um, I really recommend the Alexia brand. I love this brand. Everything by them is good. I love their sweet potato fries. I love their waffle fries. It's really delicious. And if you have a Kroger near you, they're almost always on sale. <laughs> All right, so usually what I do is melt a little bit of vegan butter in the skillet, and right now we're trying out this Miyoko's butter. Um, I got this from Kroger. I think you can get it from Whole Foods too, but this is the first time that we've used it, and I've, I've used it twice now. Um, this is delicious. It's so much better than Earth Balance. It's better than literally every single vegan butter I've ever tried. I highly recommend this. Um, you only get eight ounces. For like four dollars so that kind of stinks but this is really 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 good um, and I guess maybe it would force you to use less of it uh, so anyways I'm going to melt maybe two tablespoons of this into a skillet over medium heat and then I'm going to chop up this here onion okay so I have my onion and slices and this is like how thick I do and then I just separate them all like that. Like separate all of the layers. Make sure none, they're not like in a great big clump. And then I'll put them into my melted butter. So I have the onions all separated and in the butter. So normally, um, needs starting to get fussy. So normally I let them get pretty dark and you have to keep stirring them um, frequently. I do a little bit of salt about halfway through and that really helps them brown up and it makes the flavor just crazy sweet and delicious. Oh, it makes it so much better. Just like a little pinch of salt though, not very much. Um, so I do get let them get like pretty brown so it takes about 30 minutes, I would say, about 30 minutes, and you just keep them over medium heat the whole time and just keep stirring them ever so often. And I always, always, always do the onions before I even put any kind of anything in the oven, like if we're doing fries or if we're doing onion rings, I always make sure that the onions are first already cooking in the skillet because they take the most time of everything. The burgers actually only take five minutes or so to cook, so. <laughs> Hi, baby. Nate's being such a cutie. Say hi. I'm interrupting the cooking video because hey. I'm a cutie. Hi. I was just tickling him and um, I was using like both hands to hold him because I was like having him in a seated, pos seated position on my lap. Yeah. And um, I was tickling him with both hands. And he just freaks out and starts laughing. It was so cute, but of course I couldn't record it because I'm using both hands to do it. Like I at least need one hand holding him and the other hand tickling him. It wasn't gonna work the other way around because he's not quite sitting up yet, but I really wanted to get it on video. And then I tried to like change what I was doing to get it on video and he wasn't laughing anymore. It stopped being funny. <laughs> Um, so these onions are already smelling amazing though. I'm gonna give them a stir and then I'll show you guys how to make the aioli. And then over here, this is how our onions are looking. They're still going to get much darker than this, but at this point it's really important to just keep stirring them very frequently because once they start to get brown, they can burn really fast. Okay, this is everything I use to make the garlic aioli. I have vegan mayo, I buy the just mayo kind. I have some garlic powder. I do about half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Oh, two tablespoons of just mayo, half a teaspoon garlic powder, um, just a little bit of black pepper to taste, about a quarter teaspoon of salt, and just like 
a, the littlest, tiniest bit of lemon juice, like maybe three drops. Um, just a little tiny bit, and then you give it a good stir, and it makes this much. Um, I would say if you are doubling, like if you're having four burgers, then probably double this sauce. This sauce is probably just enough for two. All right, so the onions are starting to look pretty caramelized, still stirring them, but they're starting to look pretty good. Um, I'd say maybe two more minutes or so. So just keep stirring them there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the Beyond Burgers into the skillet here. And you don't need to oil the pan or anything um, because they already have oil in them. So you just pop them down and cook them on three sides each and then they're done. And then I'll be pulling everything together and show you guys the final product here. Here's our onion rings. They just came out of the oven. Everything's looking pretty good, almost done. And now I'm just grilling the buns uh, for just a couple minutes and I don't wipe the pan, pan clean or anything. I just leave the grease in there from the burgers and then I just get a light golden color on the surface of the inside of the buns. And then I will show you guys how I set everything up. Okay, so this is the grill that I got on them. Now I'm going to do a little bit of aioli. I do about that much, little dollop on each bun. Spread it around. All right, then I added the uh, caramelized onions and now I'm going to put on the burger. All right, so I put the burger down and I put pip pickles on the top bun there and then we are ready to go and eat the most delicious vegan burger ever. All right, so we're gonna eat this food now. Nate is ready to go down for bed. I'm gonna get this video edited and put up for you guys, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!